It's your boy. Sapper Steve. You already know. Back on the beat. Yeah, he already knows. Everyone already knows. Yeah. My, 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 is it yeah. Pop tart. Pop tart. Pop tart. Pop tart. Pop tart. When I get home, I'ma eat that pop tart. Ear from the back and the front like an alcohol. For anything in the picture, this clip art pops so fat. I like pop art. What is up, guys? It's your boy Tommy. Uh, what's good? It's me, Max. And, and we're it's your boy Sapper Steve. Sapper Steve. If you like that banger intro, go check out Sapper Steve on Instagram yeah, at got, Sapper Steve. Yeah, I got some more an outro too, boys. Yep, he's gonna be doing our outro as well, and he also has a brother. How do you feel about your brother? Uh, he's a pretty bad artist, I'd say. He's way worse than me because I have some. I, I, He's I, got some banger tracks. Yeah, I, I, so go, go, go let's check go, out Sapper. Let's go right. straight into this. It's uh, today's September 20th, 2019. And on and, this uh, podcast, we're going to be covering the whole week's worth of sports and news. Like and the wild card race, which you should get into. Um, Cubs and Brewers for the NL. Who do you got? Who do you got? Who do you think? I got the it? Brew Crew. I'm not going to lie. I have an easy schedule coming up against the Pirates. Which they kind of suck. <laughs> Not yet. I'm going to have to go with the Brewers on this one. Cubs playing the Cardinals the next. they they got to play six more games with that team. Not the Cardinals this season. I'm like, Cardinals have been playing good baseball. Actually playing the Cards in half an hour. Yep. So that's through, see that's how that one goes. Through, yep. But uh, the Brewers have had an easier schedule, even without Yelich. But I think they've been playing better baseball with a tougher schedule. Um, but, um, you know, they... They, I think they'll pull through, especially with the schedule advantage. Yep, and yesterday's games in the MLB. Let's take a look at we that. We had one. some pretty big bangers with the Twins beating the Indians two to nothing. That was Saturday, uh, Tommy. Oh my god! Yeah. Sorry, guys. So we got to, let's let's take this moment and um. We had some technical difficulties, and let's get back to the games in the MLB. I I, I saw so, yesterday, you know, the Brew Crew played the San Diego Padres. Easy 5-1 win. Um, easy. I think the big highlight of the day was, I believe, um, don't get me wrong, but I think it might have been Trent Grisham's Little League home run. That was Little pretty League. fun to watch. That was Little League style, boys. That's how you're going to win the World Series, let alone make the playoffs, I think. <laughs> Yankees clinching the East. Uh, big news first time in to one years? victory first, against the Angels. Yeah. I mean, when you're where playing, did Trout go? Where did Trout? No one's know. gonna. No one knows. It's a bit shock for the Angels. So shock. much hype this year. And we could talk about the Blue Jays Orioles game, but nobody cares. So we're that's just a bad gonna... game. So let's go to the Cardinals Cubs game. Tommy, you got this one. Ooh, uh, it's a tough one for the Cubbies, wasn't it? Yeah, Emilio, Emilio do you want to chip into our podcast here? I'm good. Okay, he does not want to chip in. Uh, As you can see, he's mourning over there. Yo, Sapper Steve wants to chip in. Sapper Steve, get out of here. Okay. The Cubs Cubs had a uh, rough night last night, obviously pulling a ninth inning miracle, but uh, I don't think that will do it over the Cardinals. I don't think the Cubs will make the playoffs uh, this year. They're going to have to keep on pulling ninth inning miracles. Do you? Yep, I really don't think they have a good chance. Even if they make the wild card, they're going to have to end up playing probably the Nationals. And that did not go well. That did not go well. That was really But, you know, who does good, who does good against the Nationals? The Sox? All right. Uh, well, I'm not going to lie. Uh, speaking of the AL, Twins. Mm. It's magic number is six after the Astros and Yankees have already clinched. Twins have a four-game lead over... Ooh, the uh, Cleveland Indians in the Central Division in the AL. The magic number to clinch the, the – what's it? The division is six. Cleveland in the wild card is tied with the A's – or actually with the Rays, and the A's lead it in the wild card. Do you think the Rays are going to make it? Oh, yeah. If Cleveland – Cleveland has a bit of a tougher schedule facing uh, Philadelphia and uh, Washington – so okay. I'm at that. I mean, that's that's gonna be kind of tough to play against. And with Tampa Bay playing teams like you know Red Sox and Yankees might be a little bit tough, but they're still the Red Sox having a disappointing season this year after I would, after a yeah, World I, Series I think, dub. I think I think if they didn't uh, have that slow start at the beginning of the year, they may have um, 
They might be a playoff team right now. But yep. Really disappointing for those Red Sox. Very fans. disappointing. All right, let's hop over to the NFL. So uh, we got some predictions for Week Three. So yesterday's game was uh, Titan, Jaguars. Jags. Yeah, Jags and Titans. Twenty to seven victory for the Jaguars Jags. over the Titans in Jacksonville on Thursday night football. Mariota threw three hundred and four yards. Uh, top of the world. Oh, Derek Henry. Derek Henry has a pretty good game. Run game. But the Jaguars backup QB for Nick Foles with a devastating injury to 204 yards. Gardner Minshew. Okay. I don't think you'll hear that name often. Okay. But <laughs> that gives the Jaguars their first win of the season. Speaking of the Jaguars, Jalen Ramsey requested a trade from his agent after the loss. Uh, to the Texans. Do you think he'll be traded? I mean, um, obviously he played yesterday. Obviously his agent's going to give him some options. I, I mean, mean Jalen Ramsey could either that, stick yeah. with his club or move on. I, I, I don't know because Jalen Ramsey is a standout name. I think they will trade him. if He's going to he's gonna get what he wants. He's All that right. type of player. So let's focus on important games this week. Uh, big Sunday home. we got Dolphins, Cowboys, uh, Bengals, go with Bills. The, yeah, Cowboys on that one. Bills on this one only because Bills have a better offense and the defense is better. Lions, Eagles. Um, I think I'm going to go <laughs> Eagles on that one. Uh, Jets, Patriots. Uh, um, Pets, Patriots. Um, they, they are a better team. Patriots, Falcons and Colts. Ooh. That's going to be – that's Ooh. a – who do you think will win that one? I mean, with the Colts having Andrew Luck have a uh, um, disappointing retirement. retirement. <laughs> Twenty nine years old, am I right? Yep. Uh, I don't know, but the sad. Colts have been playing decent football considering that retirement. Jacoby Brissett was well, taking he, I mean, over. He, he played while Luck was injured, but um, I think I think, I think, I think he's the, a decent quarterback. I think the Falcons will win only because Matt Ryan is the type of quarterback he is. And, all, All right, right, Vikings Raiders. Um, that's my that's my home, home team, Minnesota. All right, All right. Uh, we're gonna have to go. I'm like I'm I'm biased on this one, but still Minnesota is gonna win it because Raiders. I'm sorry to say they're not good. Not a good if they would have had you know Antonio, Antonio Brown, Brown. But he would still cost them. No, not Minnesota's got a solid defense. I think the key for them is to run the ball more than pass the ball. You think Antonio Brown is gonna be? A good player this season, or do you think he's going to be? I mean, if you saw his game us. last week, he had like fifty-four yards for a touchdown. Pretty so good, not bad, not bad. All I think, right, I think so. So Ravens, Ravens that's Chiefs, a big game. Ravens Chiefs, that's going to be a good one. This this is the highlight of the week. Um, one of the highlights. I'm going to go, go Kansas Chiefs. City. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna, we're they gonna go Chiefs. The reigning MVP, Patrick Mahomes. Patrick, they have. Who's on my fantasy have, team, by no, the way? Five, yeah. Almost and, thirty points last game. Um, wasn't bad. I'm gonna go with the Chiefs on this one. Yep. Broncos, Broncos Packers, the Packers, I mean, Panthers, Cardinals. I mean, Kyler Murray's starting off slow. He's, he's, but he's, but I feel like his last game was pretty good. And his Week One game against the Lions was pretty good too. The he's, first half wasn't. He's promising. Wasn't the best, he's but the second I'll half against the, the Lions. But I'm gonna good. go with the Panthers on this one because they have McCaffrey. All right, Giants, Bucks. We don't know. No, we gotta look at like good games. Saints, Seahawks. Okay, uh, that's a nice game. Um, mm. I'm gonna go with the Saints. Actually, no, I'm gonna go with the Seahawks on this one. Mason, the Saints just <laughs> Mason Rudolph, right? Taking over uh, the Saints. Yeah. No, I think it's either between Taysom Hill and Teddy Bridgewater. Oh, jeez. I think Who's the Mason Seahawks. Rudolph for? He's on the Steelers for Ben Roethlisberger. Oh, but the, I think, I'm, I'm gonna folks. go with the I'm gonna go with the Seahawks on this one. Drew Brees is hurt. And um, speaking of Mason Rudolph, the Steelers so, yeah. and 49ers are gonna go. Um, Got it. Those are big Steelers. Yeah. Actually, no, 49ers. Steelers. Just not like it. Um, Texans, Chargers. I'll go over that game or not? Texans, Chargers. I'm going to go with the Texans on this one. Rams, and then, Browns. Uh, Prime time. Rams, Rams, Browns. Rams. Rams. They got better teams. I don't know. I'm thinking Browns. No, no. I'm thinking Browns. Browns Baker Mayfield's going to have. Browns hasn't stepped up yet. Baker Mayfield's going to have a breakout season. Browns. With Odell, who, yeah, did also give me 30 points. And How about your fantasy team? Ooh, we play that. It's pretty good. Bears, the, Redskins. Yep, yep. We gotta oh, go with Bears, Red, Redskins. Bears, my Redskins. home team, Monday right? Monday night. Monday night. Um, Ooh, I'm gonna go with the Bears on this one. The Redskins. Definitely, yes. Tough year. Eddie Panero. Sapper. Okay. Uh, Eddie Panero. How do you feel about his uh, 53 yard 
field goal to, uh, yes, win the game against the Broncos. How do you feel about that? Um, I'm really shocked. Shocked. Especially with the last year they've had in kicking. Um, okay. You know, it's, it's impressive. He is impressive. You know, I think he was a bit too cocky when he uh, hit that Hockey. field goal. Mm-hmm. Running around. You mm-hmm. even said so yourself. You didn't like his celebration. I remember you said that. Mm-hmm. Really. I don't know. Can you kick a 53-yard field goal? I'm, I'm not. I'm not saying I can't. Let I, alone a three-yard field goal. I'm, I'm, I'm not oh, saying. I'm not oh, okay. saying I can't. But you I know was, your boy Emilio can. You know Emilio Lopez. I, I was impressed. I was impressed with everything. I think the Bears win because the Redskins are just falling in a hole. All right. Yep. <laughs> I agree. And All right. Our next topic: Bears and Vikings. Mm. Run over the Bears real quick. All right. So my prediction for their season is going to be. I think they're gonna go twelve and four again. I guess. Not gonna lie, twelve and four again. All right, all right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna chip in real quick with the Bears. I told um my dad. All right, I told someone. I don't know who. I told Emilio? someone. I think I may have told Emilio, but uh, that the Bears had a good season last year. And do you remember the Jacksonville Jaguars season like two years ago? They went like twelve and four, eleven yep. five or something like that. Won the division. Yep. The next year later, they had a good start, but kind of like sl- slumped. All right. I think because the running back problems, Bears kind of having a running back problem so far. Mm, I, mean, I mean, I'm thinking the Drake. Bears might have a Jacksonville Jaguars type of year. With David Have-a. Montgomery coming from Iowa, I think he's a good he's, he's a good he's addition. Right. He's all right. He's a good addition. All and right. Jordan Howard. All right. But the Vikings. All right. Last week was a tough loss. Not gonna lie. Packers to uh, the Packers. Twenty-one. Hey, let's go over the Bears week one loss. Hey, 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 chill, exactly. chill, That's chill, right chill, That's chill. Right so it's tough to loss, twenty one sixteen. But um, let me let me get this. To the cheese heads, okay? Hey, you cheese lost heads. in your own stadium. So, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so. <laughs> so the yeah, when you're, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over one scenario in the game. First and goal at the eight yard line. Kirk Cousins decides to boot like play action pass. Mm. Stephon Diggs in the corner, cause interception in the red zone. That is let not alone the end zone. Um, I think the only way the Vikings will be successful against good teams. Is if they run the ball more and Cousins does less, because okay. when they played the Falcons, won twenty eight twelve, very solid victory. Yep, both ends. Um, Dalvin Cook ran for one hundred twenty yards, or one eleven to be exact. And um, he. All right, I don't think these people care about the Vikings. I think we should just jump right into the hockey predictions since right, the season. NHL, NHL season. Uh, Jack Hughes scored two goals in that uh, preseason game. Mm-hmm. Jack Hughes. Okay. 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 Jack Hughes. Okay. Okay. All right. Jack Hughes. That's a promising start. Mm-hmm. Not lie. All right. Jack Hughes is pretty decent. Uh, can we look at the Chicago Blackhawks? Blackhawks. Okay. Mm-hmm. I think I, mean, the, I think they're going to sneak into the playoffs. They did beat the Red Wings. Uh, yes, okay. they are 1-2 on in season. Uh, in the preseason. Let's look at my uh, hometown Minnesota Wild. Nobody likes the Wild. Once again. <sighs> How'd they do? I know they lost. Anyway, bad. All right, two to one OT loss. Ooh, OT. Loss. OT. The, the Jets. The Jets. That's lost. not good. Um, hey, Hawks lost four three to Cavs. Okay, so who do you think is going to win the cup this year? Hmm. That's actually kind of tough. Now <laughs> that I think about it, um, you look at so many good teams. Obviously, the Lightning having a very, very disappointing playoff. Same loss. with Calgary. Same with Calgary. Yep. Hmm. So, uh, I think um, I have a good rep- – so, going back to the baseball, we have a good representative for the uh, Milwaukee Brewers. And um, – John Barrett? John, John Barrett. Who do you think? Who do you think is going to win? Or make the playoffs of these Brewers or Cubs? The Brewers. Well, okay. Well, why? 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 Because the Brewers are better than the Cubs. Right. Some solid well words said. from John Barrett. Well Thank said. you. From a Brewers fan. All right, going back to the hockey. Um, you look at the NHL teams. The Devils. No, I don't. I don't no. think they'll win. They'll make the playoffs. Uh, Rangers might have a tough year, even no, though no, with no, the no, Panarin. No. Panarin. But you know who I gone. think is going to make the playoffs? Oh. The Panthers. Mm. I mean, you look at their team. Like their goalie, that's gonna help them so much because that was half the problem last yep. year. Yep, Joe Quenville. With the that's also and did you see? I like this one player, Mike Hoffman. Oh, okay, Mike Hoffman. He he's a forty goal scorer last year. They still have Huberto. 
Um, you know, they have Yandel. Yeah, the okay, end. okay. They have uh, Ekblad on the D end. They, they have a Ekblad. solid group. I think they could not win the division, but they, they'll, they'll go to the playoffs for sure. All right, that's pretty solid. Uh, but cup winners for me, I mean, we're going to have to go. We're going to yeah, ha- definitely I'm, Chicago Blackhawks are winning the no. Super Bowl. Um, <laughs> no, uh, when I look at a cup winner, I'm going to go with Dallas. I'm going what? With, it's it's weird, but. When, As Eli Mack once said, what? <laughs> but um, the Dallas Stars, they got Seguin, Tyler Seguin, Jamie Blake. Seguin. Right. Seguin. Where have, are you um, from? They have uh, Minnesota, actually. Thank you for asking. Um, you know, home of the Twins. Um, I think I'm back. Complete fire goal song. All right, ready? Anyway, <laughs> Dallas stars. stars. Dallas stars. stars. But anyway, Dallas. anyway, uh, they have the they have a good goalie, Ben Bishop, who had a great year yeah. last year. You can stop. Six <laughs> four. Are you sure? I think he's, he's six, six four. Six. Let's go look that up real quick. Fact check. He is six seven. Six seven. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> so I mean, he's a good goalie considering he can cover that guard more than in the <laughs> NBA. Anyway, Ben Bishop had a great li- year last year, and I think defensively with Haskinen, Haskinen and, um, who did flop and then lose to a girl <laughs> in the um, NHL All Star competition. That was, uh, I mean, hey, that was a banger. But you have to admit, what's her name? Kendall Coyne. Twenty nineteen. She's a boys. fast hockey skater. She's pretty fast. She's really fast. Um, she got some wheels. Uh, you know, so I think Dallas will do really good. I think they're gonna win a cup though, because they have. Remember, don't forget Joe Pavelski, who they signed this off season. With oh, John yep. Klingberg yep. and Miro Heiskanen, and then but they, they got, did get rid they, of Mads oh, Zuccarello. Who, 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 I think they also have a really good player named uh, Ramos. <laughs> Alex Radulov. Oh my, the Russian right? guy. Right. The Russian hey, he guy? had a pretty good last year too. So when you put Alex Radulov, okay. Tyler Sagan, okay. Sagan, Sagan for you, Jamie Sagan. Ben, and Joe Pavelski plus Miro Heiskanen, Pavelski, uh, and you got Bishop and that. That's a pretty good team. All right, we got, we got actually for real now. Winning, winning the cup? Mm. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go with a solid team. Did you say Pittsburgh? <laughs> I mean, Pittsburgh, did, they do have <laughs> they're, a strong they're season. Always, they're always good. Okay, the Blackhawks are going to go far, but I don't think they're going to make it past the second <laughs> round. I'm just, I'm just going to say. I think Minnesota might pull first round, too. Mm, yeah, like they do always. <laughs> I don't know. This is tough. I think I'm gonna have to go for the Jets. Line A. I don't. I don't Taking I don't. their first dub. That's true. Line A. I mean, they did lose Truba to the Raiders. All right. Yep. Who else have Panarin? But um, I think we should cap it off on that note. All right. And thank you for listening to the episode today, folks. And now some inspiring words from Sapper Steve. Blart. Yeah, Pop Tart. Hey, what? What? Oh, so. Yeah. Uh, just remember to eat your pop tarts, kids. They, they have pop tarts. They have good calcium. They're good for your stomach, and yeah, they're really good. So just, you missing us a song, Sapper? Yeah, sure. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm about to do this. Okay. <coughs> Sapper, receive on the beat. Yeah, you already know. Everyone already knows. That's how it go, bro. Yo. Mike, Mike is good. Yeah. Pop tart, pop tart, pop tart, pop tart, pop tart. When I get home, I'm eat that pop tart. Ear from the front and the back like an alcar. Really Really thinking picture is clip art. Pop so fat, the like Paul Blart. There we go, folks. Come back for next week's episode, which will be dropping on Friday. See you later.